This video simplifies a very complex subject. This video is not a substitute for legal advice, which should be sought in cases where the application of general principles is unclear. When do you need to think about copyright? The best time to think about copyright is when you're planning your course materials. Think about what do you need to copy for your students? Do you need to photocopy handouts or for course packs? Do you need to scan portions of a book or journal for upload to your learning management system? Most of us recognize photocopying and scanning as copying, which may require the permission of the copyright owner. But did you know that playing music in the classroom may also require permission? Or downloading and then uploading files from the internet into your course management system? It's not always obvious what involves copyright. So let's look at some common educational activities that are governed by the Copyright Act. Photocopying an article for class handouts or course packs. Scanning a document to upload to your learning management system. Downloading a document from the web or a video from YouTube to upload to your online course. Downloading a document and printing it for class handouts. Teaching through the use of live TV or radio shows or from recordings you've made of these shows. Showing a commercial film in class or online. Playing music in class or online. Performing a play or piece of music in the classroom or for an audience. Displaying scanned material like charts and graphs from a book or images from the internet in your lecture slides. Recording a lecture that includes copyright protected material, such as slides from a publisher, for students to view at a later time. Translating a work into another language. Adapting a work, such as adapting a novel into a screenplay, or adding or deleting a few sentences or paragraphs from an article. So, do you require permission to use all these things for educational purposes? Not necessarily. Educators do have some options. And we'll cover them in the module called The Balancing Act, What Can I Do as a Copyright User in Education? As well as in the practical modules. Is there anything that isn't controlled by copyright? Yes. Providing your students a link to an internet site isn't controlled by copyright. Just make sure the material was uploaded by the copyright holder or with the copyright holder's permission. You don't want to be linking to infringing material. It's not a good example for your students. You can also use persistent or permanent links to link to e-resources your library subscribes to, such as article, video, and ebook databases. Use these and you won't have to ask your librarian whether you can use the material. Your library can also show you how to use these links. If you're not sure if something you're doing constitutes copyright infringement or want to know how you can use copyright protected material, ask the person designated by your college to answer copyright questions. Your college library is a good place to start.